Okay, another suppressor people are really excited about this year is the new Harvester from Silencer Co. We're going to put just a few rounds through this ultralight hunting rifle. It's chambered in 300 Weatherby Magnum. So I would not recommend shooting this at home without either a brake or a suppressor. So let's see how it goes. One round unsuppressed. That is not fun. Okay, before I shoot this, I just want to be clear. The harvester is rated for up to 300 wind mag. We're shooting the 300 Weatherby Magnum through it, which is a more powerful cartridge. We're really testing with the, uh, the brake attached to the front of the harvester. We're kind of testing to see how much of a difference it really makes with the recoil. So let's see how it does with the suppressor. Okay, that is a significant reduction in recoil. This is an ultralight rifle. This is actually the kind of thing that would typically be painful to shoot without, without some kind of a recoil reduction. In this case, you're getting the suppression, but on top of that, you're also getting the significant reduction in recoil. Okay, we're gonna have these harvester suppressors in just a few weeks, and we're gonna do some more in-depth testing at that time with other calibers and stuff, kind of see how it reforms. I'm just gonna quickly go over some of the things it brings to the table. Um, one of the main things is, this is a direct thread suppressor, but the direct thread insert is actually replaceable. So in this case, um, on the Weatherby mag we were using, it's a, we were using a 1 half by 28 thread because it's an ultra thin barrel. You can also, there's a 5H24 insert, there are inserts for all the popular calibers. So you, you literally just screw in the thread insert you want and you've now got a direct thread suppressor that's going to work on multiple platforms without an adapter. That's actually really cool. Um, the other thing, the uh, Another thing that this suppressor brings to the table is the brake attachment at the end. I'll admit when I first saw this suppressor I did not know what this was for <laughs> because suppressors are so good at recoil reduction in the first place. But uh, you know after shooting it on that Weatherby rifle it's actually it's obvious that this is actually a very effective addition to the suppressor. It reduces the recoil even more than you would typically expect to see with a suppressor. On top of that the suppressor is incredibly lightweight. The price on it is really just amazing. I can't wait to get it out on some other rifles to see how it performs. That Weatherby rifle, um, that's that's really beyond what most people would be using this suppressor for. It's uh, I'm kind of excited to see how it does on the 308 and then the other calibers that people would typically use for hunting. We'll post those results in the future. And for more information, you can check us out at silencershop.com.